Hello everybody, we are playing Bloons Tower Defense 6. I said, do you guys want to see some Bloons videos? Like four people said yes, that's enough for me. This is a tower defense game, you may remember from a long time ago. Uh, monkeys versus Bloons. The monkeys throw darts, the Bloons get popped. If they get to the end of the screen, you lose. I'm just going to record a quick round here, not really streaming, just, just kind of playing in my free time. Thought I'd hit the old record button. Also, my Wi-Fi is down. I would be watching YouTube right now, but I can't. But hey, now you can watch this on YouTube, even though I can't. So you can live the life I could only have dreamed of. We're going to go to Bazaar, because I have an idea. I did see this on Reddit, and no, I do not remember the username of the guy who posted it, so sorry, that guy. But this is a challenge you do on Bazaar. The boat moves, so it's kind of irrelevant now, but it's the Bazaar challenge. The goal is to put a freighter ship down in the middle lane here and block all global trade. So the pirate ship monkey, which is this guy right here, can be leveled up into a trade ship, like a big old freighter. So the goal is beat. You gotta, you gotta beat it. Obviously, I have monkey knowledge on. You know, I got my free dart monkey. Got the attacks at the end of the map, so it should be fine. But the goal is to beat the map, of course, and then also get this guy to trader ship. So away we go. So if you're not familiar with balloons, it's I mean it's tower defense. You know tower defense, right? You guys are all gamers. I'm sure Roblox has tower defense, right? You guys all play Roblox these days. Roblox, Fortnite, Borderlands. Um, does Borderlands have a tower defense? It kind of has a tower defense mission in like the, like the Slab King area with the turret. It's not, it's kind of, kind of similar to that. So if you know that quest, but somehow are ignorant to the concept of a tower defense game, there you go. So the thing you gotta worry about with balloons is there's all these different kinds of balloons. There's red balloons. There's 99 of those, you know, uh, there's blue balloons. There's not as many as those, but they, those contain red balloons. So if it has 45, no, that'd be, that'd be 90. 45, 49, 49.5, does that, does that equal 99? It does. If it has 49.9 repeating balloons in there, that has 99 red balloons. This is Ben Jamin. He's the economist. He's going to get the money flowing. So we have 100 health. I do have a mana shield, but it might not be enough. There's all these kinds of balloons like lead. I think my cannon on this guy. No, it's not a cannon. It's a dart shooter. Lead balloons are stronger. Uh, camo balloons are disguised. There's just so many crazy things. There's so many crazy things in this game. It really is great. And if you already do know balloons, uh, let me know if you want more balloons content because I can make it. I mean, like I said, I was just playing this offline. I was like, you know what? I should just hit record real quick and make a video. So if you, I mean, the Borderlands videos, I streamed that for three hours and then I got to edit it for like two hours and I got to upload. That's like, that's like a six hour chore. Not really, a, you know, not a chore, you know, a six hour process to make one of those Borderlands videos. If you want me to make a balloons video every day, I mean, this takes like five minutes so I can do that. But if you don't want your inbox to be spammed with balloons, you're like, what the heck? I subscribed to this guy for Private Jessup RP. I don't see Private Jessup in balloons, which, first of all, you're wrong. Because this sniper monkey, I can make him red. Where's his red skill tree? There we go. I'll make him red in a second here. Then he will be Private Jessup. Also, I'm not really going to my, uh, doing my challenge. This is not a very good build. I don't think I have anti-lead. Oh, oh, yeah, Jessup will be anti-lead. I gotta name this guy Jessup in the custom namer. Um, I should probably get a bank going, but I, I have, like, no popping power. I got no poppage. This is tough. I mean, it's not... This is a medium map. I've beat a few expert maps, okay? I streamed on Twitch, and some guy backseated and told me how to beat the game, so I'm pretty good. I'm pretty much a master. And don't even get me started on co-op. On easy co-op, me and my friends have gotten past around 92. Uh-huh. So, I think I know my way around the balloon. Uh, does that hit lead? It does. Okay, the grape shot, hot shot hits lead. Good. Hot shot was the name of a transformer that replaced Bumblebee in the early 2000s. They got rid of Bumblebee and they replaced him with a like a more radical guy. He had like a visor, like cool sunglasses, and he was like a sports car named Hot Shot. And I I grew up with Hot Shot, and then lo and behold, Hot Shot was just a cheap imitation of Bumblebee. So when Bumblebee came back, everyone was like, "Yay, Bumblebee!" I was like, "This is a stupid guy. He's like a Volkswagen." This guy's not as cool as Hotshot was, but then I realized that Hotshot was the imposter. Oh no! Oh my god. I said Among Us. I didn't- I didn't mean- I swear to god I did not mean to say Among Us joke, but I just made one. Oh well. You can't have a video without Among Us these days. It's, it's just too funny. Oh, they're getting through. They're getting through. Um, I need never miss targeting on the airplane. That makes a darts home in. And, uh, you're never gonna believe this, but it never misses. They can hit the whole map very good. I should part Wing Monkey on, probably. Wing Monkey makes it fly a little different. It's supposed to be better. I don't know if it's actually better, but it says that it's supposed to be better. So I, I believe him, you know. 
if you go to your doctor and he's like, this will work, you're not going to question it. I mean, maybe it will. Maybe get a second opinion. If it's like a surgery, like, oh, you need to replace your heart. It's like, okay, I'm going to get a second opinion on that one because that sounds really annoying. Like, I don't want to deal with that crap. But if it's like your doctor's like, hey, take this drug, you'll be like, okay, you got a doctor. You're not going to be like, so what exactly? No, no, no. If, he, if he says take this drug, you're doing it. Unless I'm a sheep and I just believe my doctor. Maybe I shouldn't believe my doctor. Can you remove any of these things? I thought you could remove these buildings. Are they are this there forever? I thought you could remove something on this map. What can you remove? Let's put a farm down. Big farm gameplay. The farm spawns bananas, which gives you money over time. It's very useful. I probably need to get an alchemist going on the airplane. The alchemist can buff stuff. The alchemist can make other towers be able to pop lead and shoot faster and all this fun stuff. This, this is a really good game. Like, I bought this game as a joke. Not really as a joke, but one of my friends was like, hey, let's play balloons. And I was like, all right, it's two bucks. This is, might be the best two bucks in gaming I've spent in a long, long time. If you... I mean, this is a great game. It's on phones. I'm not sponsored. I wish I was. It's on phones. It's on computer Steam. Computer Steam. It might, be on, it might even be on Linux. Who knows? It might even be on Linux. Who's to say? Anything's possible in this crazy world of monkeys and balloons. But it's a really fun game, actually. Like, it's it's a good chill game. You just sit back, you do a few clicks every now and then, listen to a podcast, write the script for a Dishonored video. Dishonored 2 video coming soon on main channel. If you haven't watched any of my Dishonored videos, go watch them because I made story recaps. The plan is to just post random crap on here, obviously. But I think I'm going to focus on the story recap format on the uh, first channel. Because I, I like it. It's a good format. I like doing it. I have a list of like 20 games I want to get to eventually for it, and they're all they're all like Xbox 360 era. So eventually, I got to find a new game with a good story, but I haven't found one of those in a long time. I haven't been looking for one in a long time because I'm like, hmm, should I, should I play that new Disco Elysium game? That game does look like it'd be pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna play New Vegas. I'll just play New Vegas again. Can you blame me though? Okay, but the only the only bad thing about playing New Vegas is when you're playing New Vegas. You're vibing, you're having a great time, and then all of a sudden the stupid radio goes, Play your guitar. And you're like, no, play it again. Stop. My Johnny. I hate that song. It's not even that bad of a song, but for some reason, like my new Vegas song, RNG, plays that song like back to back. It never stops. Johnny Guitar is on like 24 7 on my Mr. New Vegas radio. I wish I could go to Mr. New Vegas, but Mr. New Vegas, hey, I'll pay you 100 caps. Never play that song ever again. Oh, there's the Moab. The big balloon. We might not be able to kill that. Oh, we killed it. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. I'm not worried. I was kind of concerned. If we can get the bank going, we should be able to get a Spectre. A Spectre is my favorite unit in the game. It's just a big old plane that shoots bombs. Kind of like an AC-130 gunship. Because whenever you buy it in co-op, you can go, Enemy AC-130 above! And your, your, uh, you know, your buddies are like, Dude, don't yell into the microphone, please. Then they make you quiet on Discord because you just yelled. You're like, no, no, turn me up, because they can't hear you. So they go, okay. Then they turn you up, and then you yell again the next day. Oh, we're going to lose here. We're going to lose here. Hang on. Um, 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 do I have any power-ups I can use? Eh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not worried. That was so close, though. Okay, we have a bank now. The bank you can invest money into if you get the monkey knowledge, which is the persistent upgrade tree. You'd think this game is just a little kid game, but it's actually got some decent depth to it. But the long and short of it is I'm trying to get enough money to buy this plane, because this plane can hard carry for a long, long time. Oh, I gotta get the camo scanner, too, on my village. If I can get a specter going, we should be good for a while. Round 63 is a killer. You can see we're on round 45. Round 63 will get you. That's a tough one. A lot of it's just preparing for that. Oh, we're gonna die right here. We're dead. Okay. Fun feature. You can just continue. Even if you lose, you can say, I didn't actually lose, and continue. Does that cost money? It costs monkey money, not real money. Can you buy monkey money with real money? Yes. Does this game have microtransactions? Yes. Uh, I would say it's mostly cosmetic, but it's not, because you can buy power-ups. But it's not its not a competitive game. Although, in, in the competitive mode, the race mode, I'm pretty sure the power-ups are disabled. If they're not, that's kind of dumb. They should be. Um, I feel like winning on my first ever Balloons YouTube video, not embarrassing myself. I, I guess using a continue and a powerful Insta Monkey is pretty embarrassing. But I don't care. I'm putting down, I can't fit him in the village. Okay, hmm. What do we have? Got a good sniper, a 201 sniper? and eh, it's kind of trash. Insta monkeys, you get these guys from, like, uh, loot crates. Yep, it has loot crates. And, um, just getting to round 100 and general challenges. They're monkeys you can place down without having to 
like buy it with gold you just get it instantly and so it, they're one time use as well so you just kind of pop them out um i think a helicopter could be nice i need to get a good one though a 300 that's kind of crazy 202 is more of my speed though we'll put one right here 202 chopper give it moab shove i don't we didn't die to moabs i don't know why i really did that that was kind of dumb we need more anti balloons just like the regular balloons are getting through uh, so a ninja is pretty good for that i think right i get that 402 ninja see i know oh i didn't put the helicopter on pursuit i gotta manually fly it oh man the helicopter will follow your mouse oh they're getting through Have you tried yeah, yeah, yeah 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 the voice acting for the heroes is very bad but it's funny the goal of the heroes in this game is to find the hero with the most annoying voice lines and use that in co-op with your friends that's how you win i need to get pursuit oh this one oh it has pursuit what am i doing put it on pursuit why would the game assume I don't want Pursuit by default? Oh, we're gonna die again. No, don't die again. Hang on. Bro, bro, bro. Okay, we're fine. Are we? Are we? Are we? We good? We might. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Ninja! Help me, Ninja. Can this even hit camo yet? It can't. That was the issue. Um, that's got 10k... Almost have Spectre. This is going... This is a hard map. What the heck? This is supposed to be like an intermediate baby map. I picked it because it had a funny river in it, but this is harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh, we got some camo regrows. Oh my god. Oh, my regrow blocker is all the way down there. Okay, now the plane the plane couldn't get hammo before. Get hammo? Hit camo before. Now it can. That should... The helicopter plane combo should be good for a little bit. I just need to get enough money for the Spectre. So the IMF loan, I believe, gives me 1250 So if I get, like, a little bit more money... How much does it cost in hard mode? It costs 2,500. I mean, hard mode, the mode I always have, the mode I'm always playing all day. Oh, no. No! Slow motion. Get him. Pop it. What does that do? That's useless. Uh, use tax. Use tax. Um. Hey, look, we won. We won with cheating. Perfect. Slow motion is disactivated. Okay. Oh, what the heck? How are they all getting through? Continue again. <laughs> I'm going to spend like 5,000 monkey money trying to do this challenge. All right, can I buy a Spectre yet? I'll take the loan out. Oh, you can't take the loan out until the round starts. I forgot. That's a fun feature. Take the loan out. Thank you. Give me the Spectre. Thank you. Lots more darts. Spectre on Wing Monkey. There we go. All right, now we have the Spectre. This guy's beefy. This guy's pretty crazy. He should be able to pretty much do it for us for a while. He says, says the guy who's continued three times. If you want, If you want to watch a Bloons channel that knows tactics and knows the game inside and out. This is not it. This is a Borderlands channel. I don't know how you really found this one. If you're just looking for new balloons, you just search balloons, sort by new. Hey, this guy's got like 500 views on this video. I'll give it a watch. If, if so, hi, welcome to the channel. Last night, I streamed Flash games on Twitch, so follow me there. I've been playing a lot of balloons on Twitch, and that made me play a bunch of Flash games. And I was playing a Flash game. We found a whole subgenre of Flash games where it's quizzes made by food companies to sell stuff to kids. Like we found like Jolly Rancher quiz, Hershey's chocolate bar quiz. And the best one was we found Nesquik quiz, which Nesquik is like chocolate powder. You put in like milk and it makes it into chocolate milk. But their quiz, it, it's old, it's an old flash game. So it's, it's from like 2003, right? So the Nesquik quiz was, what flavor did Nesquik introduce in 2003? And the answer was like double super chocolate. And so when, when you get it right, it gives you trivia. So we got it right. The answer was double super chocolate. So it said, 2003 was the year that Nesquik double super chocolate was re released to the world. Also, the, what happened during that year is that the Taliban was disbanded. It's like, what? Hang on. This, this is like NesquikKids.com. And it, I was just trying to get fun facts about chocolate milk. And it brought it like the game. The game brought Taliban. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. The game just randomly said, oh, by the way, the Taliban. Then, then it went back to being, like, fun kids' happiness. And it was, like... And then there, we did the Toucan Sam one. I should have probably posted this on this channel, because it was pretty funny. Oh, well, we're get, you're getting balloons instead. Come watch on Twitch if you want to see Toucan Sam's adventures. We did a Toucan Sam quiz. I can buy upgrade for my boot. ka -ching. Toucan Sam quiz. I can buy the merchant ship, can't I? Can't I? Can't I? Hey, we did it. All right, we got the cargo ship. The Ever... Green, Ever Given. Which one is it? The, the, the thing on the side of the ship wasn't the actual name. I don't care. What does this even do? Trade Empire generates cash per round. Oh, I gotta have merchantmen around it to get the main benefit. Okay, well I didn't do that. It'll be fine though. 
But yeah, Toucan Sam's every single answer was, what does Toucan Sam love the most? And there was like homework reading. And the third answer is like, his fresh daily bowl of Fruit Loops, copyright symbol, cereal. And every answer was just, wow, these th th boring answers, but then Fruit Loops cereal. It was like, what is Toucan Sam's least favorite thing to do? Go to the doctor, read a book, or eat delicious Fruit Loops for breakfast every day, exclamation mark, copyright on the Fruit Loops. So that was pretty scummy. It was funny though. And we did um, we did a quiz about Britney Spears. It was made by THQ to promote a Britney Spears dancing game they had for the PS2. And it was like a clip art photo of a girl. And she said, what do you know about Britney Spears? And it, was, it asked like, do you know her birthday? Do you know her parents name? Do you know where she lives? And somebody in chat was like Britney Spears stalker quiz. Yeah, it was creepy. It was like, if you knew all the answers to those questions, you should not be allowed near Britney Spears. Cause it was like, it was like obsessive. It was not cool. Some, somebody at THQ probably knew all those answers, which is pretty creepy. Thankfully, THQ was doing good. Is T, what does THQ make? Do they make anything anymore? They shut down yet? <laughs> what do they make? They made Saints Row, right? There hasn't been a Saints Row in like... I don't even... They made Gat Out of Hell, the one where you're in hell and you like fight Satan. I played the third one and I played the fourth one, but the fourth one was bad. It wasn't bad, it was just boring. Because it's the same map as three but they give you superpowers. And so instead of playing GTA, you just run around and play Batman Arkham City combat, which is, uh, I mean, I get it, it's, it makes you feel like Batman, but every game was like, dude, if we just make your, our guy is surrounded and then you hit the button to dodge and then you can counter it, well, like Witcher combat, oh my God, I'd rather just go to sleep. <sighs> oh, Witcher 3 on Death March is so insane, dude. Nope, sorry. I mean, Witcher 3, I like the story. The thing about Witcher 3 I liked was I played the story, I beat the Bloody Baron questline, and I was like, is the game over? And then I looked it up, I was like, no, you beat like the intro, like the ten first 10%. I was like, what the, the first 10%? That was like 30 hours, so I stopped playing it. It was a good intro though. It was a pretty good questline. But the thing with the Witcher I didn't like is that I just wanted to see the story. And the combat was like random thug that has no chance against Geralt, and it goes, hey, hey, hey. And also I was playing on baby mode, so I wasn't, I wasn't playing on a mode where I had to actually care about potions. So I got like a million potions. Like, I don't care about your stupid potions. Who needs that? And that's like, turns out the potions are very important for like the harder difficulty to like get the right buffs. I didn't care about that though. I played on baby mode. I was like, this is too easy. So my complaint about it was that it was too easy, but I was playing on the easiest difficulty. So I don't, that's, I don't know if that really is valid. I'll, I'll be the first to admit that that might've been a little premature for me to write off the whole game because it was a little easy because I was playing on easy mode. You know, we all have our faults. I played Dishonored on the hardest mode. Does that count? I play Dishonored on the most expert difficulty, unless I want to do a combat run, then I put it on normal, because on expert difficulty, you just die in one hit, and it's kind of annoying. What am I doing here? I think I want to get another trade empire. I should have put it, what am I doing? Put it in range of the other boat. This is when the US comes, when the USA is like, hey guys, I hear the Suez is blocked, want us to help? And everyone's like, no, 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 it's, it's okay, USA, you don't got to help. Like, oh, we're bringing it, we're, se we're sending in a carrier. We're sending in Nimitz. And it's like, no, USA, you really don't have to do that. We got it under control, we got a tugboat. What? Oh, I can't, I can't hear you. We're, we're, we're going to come in, okay? We're coming. Is, is that cool? And then a giant Nimitz-class carrier just smashes right into the Suez Canal and destroys it forever. And then we, we high-five and say, mission accomplished, and we go home. I've been getting a lot of ads for the U.S. Army, and it's like a guy. He's he's dressed like the Doomer meme, right? Like You know the Doomer meme? He's got like the black hat and the black hoodie. He's literally dressed like that walking down the street, and it's like raining, and like a cool voice is like, does your life lack purpose? Are you stuck in an endless loop? And he's like on his phone and he looks depressed. And then like literally a portal to another dimension opens up and he goes, whoa. And he jumps through and suddenly he's in boot camp and he crawls through the mud for five seconds and stands up. And then it like transitions to him being in like a Marine uniform. And it's like, join now. So I didn't join. I did watch the ad, but I didn't join. So I mean, I may, maybe I will, you know? Maybe one day I'll be dressed like a doomer walking down the street in a portal. The, the thing that was unrealistic was the portal. Like, they should have had him go to the recruitment office. And then that'd be more realistic, you know? Because then it's like, if I want to join, how do I join? I don't know. Find a magic portal in the street, I guess. But that's not going to happen. That's not real. They should have showed him going to the office. Because then people would have known how to do it. So not very good advertising U.S. military, I gotta say. Speaking of U.S. military, I think the Spectre has hard carried us. Thank you, firepower from above. This should have, um, you know, COD 4, the gunship mission? 
that every game has put in since, and it wasn't even that fun in COD 4. It, it was a cool concept in COD 4. Like, in COD 4, I was like, this is, well, is kind of cool. It's just a little, this is a little different. It wasn't, like, the most fun thing, but it was cool. Cool experience. And then every developer is like, oh, that's fun. People people like the AC-130 turret section. It's fun. It's like, no, it's, uh, Ace Combat Assault Horizon even had an AC-130 turret section mission. You're supposed to be flying the plane in that game. Okay, I got to the point in my rambling where I'm just complaining about Ace Combat Assault Horizon, which is when you know it's time to end the video. So, let me know in the comments, did you like the balloons video? Do you want to see more balloons videos? Do you want to see less balloons videos? Do you want to see... Eh, kind of like, kind of like an average amount of balloons videos. Because if you want more, I can make them. If you don't want more, I probably will still make them until I get bored of this game, which will probably be when I unlock everything. I'm like level 100 or something right now, like 155 is a max. So we got, we got like 55 more rounds. We can get a couple months out of this bad boy until I get bored, and then maybe I'll go back to bored or lands. There we go. I don't have an outro. Usually on the on the stream, I make a funny YouTube outro moment, like a funny joke, and I cut away really fast. But I don't really have one for this, so. Uh, bye.